Okay, you're making this really- you're making this war difficult than it needs to be. Okay, opened up. Inhibitor field. <laughs> I literally one phase him, he didn't even do his attack. Hey there miners, welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic with me, Blue Ghost. So I do apologize for the lack of uploads. Um, recently I've kind of just been going through a little bit of upsets in life, but I've been able to deal with them. Um, but it's life really. Life is full of upsets, life is full of disappointments. You kind of just get through them and then everything will be uh, okay at the end really. But uh, today... We are going to be using the Zukovs, Zukovs, I always freaking fail to pronounce the name of these correctly, but um, the overclock that we're going to be using with it is Embedded Detonators. These things are insanely fun to use when it comes to uh, elimination missions. And also we're going to be pairing it with the IFG, and we're also going to be pairing it with the IFG to benefit the Embedded Detonator, detonator blah 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 to benefit the embedded detonators a lot more. The IFG provides a 30% weakness debuff to any enemy that is caught in the radius. And what that means is that they're gonna be able to take more damage um, as long as they remain inside the field of the IFG. And using that with the uh, embedded detonators makes this a whole lot uh, more fun as I mess up my grapple there. I could probably just use hover boost to get this last bit of nitro, but you know what? We're doing it like a man. But no, we're going to be going in to kill some uh, Dreadnoughts today with uh, Regenerative Bugs and Volatile Guts. And uh, knowing that we're in the dense biozone, we're going to be facing some brains, so hopefully we don't really run into too much of the trouble from those little fuckers today. But we probably are going to. I think I can hear some of them through here, maybe? Oh yeah, they're, the, I can hear the little, uh, the little neocytes through this uh, dirt path. They are, they are awaiting. Wait, hold on, where are they? They gotta be down here, right? Okay, here we go, now we're getting an opening. Oh, god! Okay, well there was three of them, so there's that at least. Didn't expect them to all pop out of me at once like that. It's a real pain in the ass to deal with these when I don't have an area of effect weapon, like the flamethrower. Definitely, uh, Driller can deal with these a lot better in a lot of circumstances than, uh, having a single target, uh, hit scan weapon, really. Oh god, here we go again. In come the NATO sights. Okay, are we good? I think we're good, alright. Okay, I think there's some more NATO sites behind me if I hear correctly. If my hearing doesn't deceive me. Ooh, actually, let's do this. Never mind, I missed completely. Yeah, that works. Oh, and he is stuck in a T pose like animation because of Voltile Guts. <laughs> That's always hilarious when killing a freaking uh, shell back and that happens. Alright, let's see what we got in here then. Lighting! I was wanting to slow down the uh, shell back with the uh, IFG and just one-shot it, but it turns out I was able to just one-shot it with the embedded detonators anyway, so not really needing to do that, which is good. But honestly, first, I think I'm fit to uh, take on this first Dreadnought, so let's see what we got. Is it a Hive Guard? Oh no, we're starting off with the Twins. Ooh, okay, hmm. Using embedded detonators on these mother effers, uh, gonna be a little weird. Because first you obviously have to pop off their armor a little bit. Okay, well you're slowed in there a little bit. Ooh, that did a bit of damage with your armor pieces on. Hmm, that's actually pretty impressive. Okay, let's work on getting some of your armor off. Uh, we also do need to damage you a little bit here. That works. Jesus Christ. Okay, well they, they are going to heal, but I wanted to demonstrate how much damage it can do with the IFG in place. It's pretty freaking insane. I, I just had to do it once to just show off how much damage this thing does. Because, my god, when it comes to embedded detonators, does it make for very satisfying uh, dreadnought killing combinations in this game? Much like the uh, sludge pump using the uh, shotgun like blast overclock, I definitely do find this one probably to be the most satisfying when it comes to boss damage. 
There's also, um, the Overdrive Booster when it comes to the, um, the, uh, Shard Defractor as well. And I'm also trying to think, what else is there? I don't know if the Gunner really has anything. Other than, you know, rockets and whatnot. What else is, what is it that the Gunner has? I'm not too sure. Hmm. It probably has something to do with the, uh, Gatling Gun, maybe? I don't know. We will hopefully find out sooner or later. Okay, we damage Arbalus a little bit. We'll damage you a little bit now. Now the 30% uh the 30% weakness debuff is definitely a nice little touch to the uh, IMG. Alright, can we uh successfully slow you down? Okay, well I didn't it didn't go off because I hit his armor. Oh god. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. What the hell hit me? I think the fire effect probably still hit me from uh, Last Raider, maybe. Might have been the case. Not too sure, though. Okay, he's coming up. Uh, not caught in the inhibitor field. I'm about to die, which is another thing. We're fine. Wait, he's in the inhibitor field, I think? I was trying to pull out my uh, grappling hook instead of my uh, Zukovs. Okay, hold on. Let's go back up here, get some health. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to order a resupply. Oh, they're healing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I just need to get one more resupply, and then I have some inhibitor fields, and then hopefully get him in a good spot to uh, deal most of my damage to him, and see how it goes. It's definitely going to be the twins that are going to be the most freaking uh, horrendous to try this on, really. Mostly because of how mobile they are, and just like how much they burrow in the ground. Not very fun to deal with. Okay, I can do that at least. I can at least take out some armor pieces, that would be nice. Okay, he's burrowing. Arbalist is still right here. Okay, are you in a good spot? Sort of. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> Goodbye to his health. I mean, he's gonna heal it, but hey. Still pretty funny. Definitely gonna be Arbalist that's gonna be the trickiest to do this on, too. Because of how much he likes to go up into the air. Oh, God, we're fine. I was stuck there for a second, and I got worried that he was about to uh, rip my health in half. I need to remember to go back for the Nitra that we found earlier. Ah, uh, he's not in the inhibitor field anymore. Damn it. Do that. Okay, they should not be able to heal each other. I'm gonna wait for Last Raider to come back out. Never mind, he's back out and he set himself back on the ground again. Okay, come on. Do your bull do your bull crap. Do it. That's not hitting his weak spot? Wait a minute, what? There we go, now that is. And got him, okay, perfect, Jesus. I was get, I was getting very concerned of why I wasn't hearing the uh, hit marker sound effect when I was hitting his weak spot. That was very concerning. But uh, thank god we didn't get cucked by the game. Okay, where is Arbalus at? Arbalus, where the hell did you go? Oh, there he is. Inhibitor field. And now, we die. Okay, that's not what I had in plan, but that's fine. And now you die. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Not the other way around. And now we have some meteorites coming in. Is it a meteor shower or an actual meteorite? Okay, it's a meteor shower. I do like the addition of the Meteor Fragments being added into the game, but I hate that you only get really just one or two play cards out of it at max. You can get two of them. 
I feel like there should be just a little more. Maybe like three play cards would be nice. You know how you can get out of a normal Lithophage Meteorite, but it's at least a nice little addition. I mean, hey, speaking of which, we got one anyway. I need the mule right here, right now. At least we have one. Let there be light. But no, the rest of these are probably not going to be any play cards at all, or we're just going to get just two, basically, at max. Got some brains. Thank you, Bosco. Ooh, let's do it on a Praetorian. There we go. And he's dead. Oh, a bulk detonator, also a perfect target to do this on, with the inhibitor field on him as well. Wait, is that two of them? That's two of them. What in the shit? Okay. Um, alrighty then. Alright, well, for science, without the inhibitor field, pretty good damage, but with the inhibitor field on him. Bada bing. Yeah, you can see a little bit more damage because of the weakening effects. Uh, but yeah, this makes it easier to deal with bulk detonators. Way easier. Okay, hopefully that kills the other one. Well, at least damages him enough. Okay, it kills both of them. Alright, perfect. Okay, why did it spawn two bulk detonators at the same exact time? That's not cool, man. Honestly, the more I think about it, uh, it doesn't really seem to be that bad. Having two bulk detonators, because if you kill one of them, it'll kill the other one. Because they like to... I don't know what it is, but they spawn right next to each other when they uh, both spawn in. But it's at least good that at least one of them kills the other one. But, you know. Wait, this is a meteor hole. What, what the hell? Where'd it go to? Yeah, these meteorites, they, they can be a little annoying sometimes. Just a little. I mean, I think that it, you can at least get a play card out of them or two, but... I feel like they're just at least... At least probably needs to be three a little bit, but because, you know... Because in the normal meteorite event, you can get at least three or four. Just saying. Okay, yeah, that's only gonna be one play card, it looks like. God damn it. Lloyd is up! Sounds like there's some enemies spawning, but I'm not too sure. I got a lot of nitro here, though. Molly, Molly, please sit down. Thank you very much. <laughs> sit down, Molly. Good girl. Oh, yep. Those are enemies spawning. Goodbye. Uh, ooh, goodness gracious. Uh, that is a lot of enemies. But you know what? I want to go for the oppressor. Holy cow, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> and the Volatile Guts definitely helped out a lot, too. So I definitely think that was a big brain play right there. Every time when there's Volatile Guts on, I always keep forgetting that it's on. And then the fact that it can really help me with clearing out large groups of enemies. Every single time. It's always quite fun to have on, really. Come here, Steve. Thank you. Okay, so let me go back up and get the rest of that nitro that I missed up in the the dirt path. Born ready. You're gonna take a dirt nap. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Move your tin ass over here and hurry. Still here, and I didn't finish mining it. So yeah. Deposit time. All right, now we good. Okay, so we have two inhibitor fields. Uh, the question is, do we take the resupply? Yeah, we take the resupply. These have very little ammo with this overclock, so honestly, you're going to need it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, progress forward. Uh, Bosco, mind that and come back for that later. Even though I'm probably going to forget about it. Please don't spawn swimmers. That's going to spawn Swarmers. I specifically wanted that not to happen. This is going to make it even weirder to deal with them. I'm wasting so many bullets on these little effers. There we go. That'll work. But speaking of which, we got a helmet. More pickaxe parts, please. There we go. Now, where is that going to be? In an area that we haven't... Oh, no, that's back at spawn. Even better. Okay. Help me mine this. 
I forgot I had Rocky Mountain on, so I don't know why I'm asking Bosco to bind that out. I mean, he could do it a little faster than I, I can, at least, but, you know. Ooh, that's not good. Where are they going? They're, like, going into a hole. And I really can't follow them. I mean, hey, at least if they're going away from me, I'm fine with it. Yeah, where the hell are they? Okay, now they're coming out again. I guess they just don't feel like attacking me for whatever reason. Okay, here's that, and another NATO site. I'm hoping to at least get a Hive Guard, because I definitely do think a Hive Guard is going to be a very prime target to uh, do the Zuka, the the true damage of the uh, zu the Zuka, 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 Laka, 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 Zuka, Duka, Duka, Daka. Hooked on a feeling. No, thank you. No, thank you. Nope. That's what I get for being cocky. I was hoping I could keep him at bay just for damaging him just enough, but uh, that turns out to not be the case. Whoops. Well, I'm probably going to pay for it now, because uh, I'm probably going to die here in a second. Or not. I think we might be fine. Ooh, that goo bomber. Oh yeah, there's a regenerative bugs that are regenerating, that's right. God. Okay, well, lesson learned. Never taunt a cave leech, no matter the circumstances. You will not win. Th those things will still come for you, even if you try to taunt them. It's like, the hell do you just say about me? Yeah. Alright, here's the next cocoon. There's also the uh, gold that I asked, that I asked, that I asked uh, Bosco to mine that I need to go back for. Because there's a little bit here, too. So let's crack open this egg, and then go back for it. And it's gonna be... Glyph and Dreadnought, also a pretty good target for this. He'll do his roar, and then I could easily get him with the inhibitor field, and then do the damage with the uh, embedded detonators from there. Alright, I went back for the gold, but I'm full on gold, which is unfortunate. Alright, you know what? Let's not mine the gold for right now. We'll go back for it in a second. Oh, hi. Yoink. Ooh, 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 ooh. don't melee me, please. That would not be nice. His his freaking cocoon was down in a weird ass place. I don't know what that what the deal with that was. Okay, he's about to be open in just a second, but I want to get it to where... Okay, there's some swarmers coming in. I want to get it to where he roars so he stands still so I can get all the bullets into him and then get the embedded detonator to go off really well. Which I should be able to probably right here, hopefully. Yes, I can. Holy cow, that was like literally uh, half his health. Okay. <laughs> Pretty freaking good. Well, there's a damage without the inhibitor field active. But then if we get the inhibitor field active, if he hopefully walks back into it again, which he's not going to, then uh, it deals less damage. So yeah, there's obviously the uh, case in point where the inhibitor field does indeed uh, weaken the targets. Using this honestly makes Dreadnought Huts a lot more fun for me. Just melting their health, you know, in a casual way. Do that. Perfect. There he goes. Completely eradicated. <laughs> it's like he didn't even exist. He just vanished. Alright, well hopefully we get the Hive Guard uh, up next and not the Twins again because I hate when that happens so much. Okay, it's gonna be down there in this little uh, crevice over here. And it's a good thing I do have Rocky Mountain. As I hear explosions going off in the background. Alright, what do we got? I don't know how to pronounce that. Pneumatic. 
pneumatic. I think it, the P might be silent, but uh, all right, we got another pickaxe part. It might be pneumatic. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. Out of my way. Plop. Do we call a resupply up here? Because where's the last egg? The last egg is going to be over there. So we could probably just fight it in the spawn area over here. Depending on... Oh yeah, that's really short. So we'll just call it over here. No biggie. Roger that. Supplies are coming. Even with luck, we'll probably get another resupply too to get more, even more ammo. And a barley bulb. That's not good. Oh, get me out of here. Oh my god. That was, that was scary. Yeah, I'm also out of inhibitor fields, so yeah, it definitely would have been a good idea to call that resupply. As we're probably just going to go back and fight it in the spawn area anyway. Okay, here we go. Me with the minerals here. More nitra. And some more shocking NATO sites down there, I can see. Alright, here's the final egg. Flares up. Uh, just go ahead and pop it, and we'll just go ahead and fight. Alright, we have... Yeah, we have the hive guard. Okay, good. Where Definitely gonna be a really good target to uh, use the embedded detonators on. Because it definitely does have a habit of standing still when you, when it's attacking, which is Ready good. Hi, welcome to the party, friends. Uh oh. I always find it annoying when you fight the sentinels; they always face you, and you can't really get behind them to shoot them in the ass, which is their weak spot. So you literally have to hit them in the hardened uh, armor spot. So thanks to Steve, he makes it easier for me, so... Good for that. Okay, you're making this really... You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, open up. Inhibitor field. <laughs> I literally one phase him. He didn't even do his attack. That was pretty much half his health. Okay. Insanity. Bye bye. Why not? Just do that. Uh. Okay, he's opened up. Inhibitor. Bonk. Can I kill him now? Holy cow, we just freaking killed him in two damage phases. Wow. Insanity. Grabbing ammo. Absolute freaking insanity. That's pretty freaking awesome. Lloyd. Not to mention we're pretty rich over here too. Born ready. Get all that sorted out. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and get the hell out of here, why don't we? We definitely caught what we came for. Getting a bunch of damage with the uh, embedded detonators on the Zukovs. Zukovs. I really, I see, I seriously keep forgetting what, like, what is pronounced. I'm gonna go look back in one of the comments, and then realize how dumb I am to actually pronounce these weapons. But actually, the inhibitor feel is a very special grenade. The amount of utility it provides is really awesome. Because, you know, not only does it slow, but as I mentioned before, it weakens, it... Like, it, it really slows them down a lot. And not only that, too, just the damage benefit you get from it is really awesome. It's kind of like using a board. It's it's kind of like using a Oppressive Darkness Vortex Grenade from Destiny 2, really. Wait a minute, that's not even in the game anymore. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh, that's not good. Ooh, no. Please let me go. Wait, am I in the wrong area? Oh, no, I'm in the wrong area. I com went the completely completely the wrong way. That's not good. That is so not good. And I'm dead, okay. 
Can we still make it out of here, though, is the question. That exploder will definitely help us out a lot. I definitely thought I knew where it was going just by going that way. I thought Rocket Mountain could work on those, but apparently not. Okay, we're gonna need to go a different way then, obviously. I thought Molly was gonna follow me down this way. But that was obviously not the case. We're just gonna need to go all the way this way. Okay, drop pod's gonna be over there. We just need to carefully transverse this area. And by carefully, I mean very dangerously. And we're off to see the wizard. Uh-oh. That's more NATO sites. Get in the drop up! Fucking NATO sites, dude. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I heard those things behind me. I'm like, instantaneous panic mode activated. God, I hate those things so much. What's worse is I need Bismore and I need to go into Dense Biozone for more Bismore. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and take care.